Hey guys, I'm Brian Paul, and it's time for some more PlayStation VR breaking news. First up, Intruders Hide and Seek has a new trailer showing footage from actual PlayStation VR gameplay. I and mean, it's looking really good. Intruders is slated to launch in just one week from tomorrow on February 13th, but even though they show a physical copy at the end of the trailer, I've yet to find anywhere online that's actually taking pre-orders. Next up, PlayStation VR Minecraft clone Discovery is finally getting PlayStation Move support. And that's not all. In early January, developer Nuwanda posted a list of improvements that are coming to the game in patch 2.6, including a configurable movement speed, smooth rotation with optional blinders, a third person view, new materials, a new game mode, split screen for local multiplayer, and of course, PlayStation Move support. Now, Nuwanda has a long way to go before they can start competing with Minecraft, but I'm just thrilled to hear that they're still working on the game. Next up, developer Tribetoy just announced a new version of Bout of Blood, called Last Captain Standing. They're bringing this game to Xbox, Switch, and PC, along with PlayStation 4 for non-VR gamers. It'll feature a Ready Player One-inspired community event wherein the first player to uncover a secret treasure will be forever immortalized in the game. This update drastically enhances the game with an all-new hard difficulty setting, more enemy ships, more events, an improved procedural engine, and improved art, making airship destruction more eye-popping than ever. I'm reading this directly off the press release, sorry, it's really early here. Anyway, those who already bought the PlayStation VR version will receive all the new content, along with the option to play it in non-VR, for free. And then finally, I've been trying to get in touch with White Lotus Interactive for almost a year now regarding the status of the PlayStation VR version of their epic puzzle game, Zing, The Land Beyond. Unfortunately, the only response I ever got was silence, so I was pretty much ready to give up on this one, despite knowing that the game was practically finished almost a year ago. White Lotus is a small team that was suffering some financial troubles, so to everyone's surprise yesterday, they tweeted for the first time in forever, saying an update on their game is coming in just two days meaning that sometime tomorrow we should be hearing some, hopefully, very good news. Alright you guys, that's all the breaking news I have for you today, but make sure you subscribe to the channel so you can stay up to date with all the latest PlayStation VR reviews, Let's Plays, podcasts, and of course breaking news. As always, I'm Brian Paul, and I love you all. Peggy 18.